We're here to palpate the structures in the lateral aspect of the elbow. If you proceed distally along the lateral aspect of the humerus, the lateral supracondylar ridge occurs that pushes you more and more outside. Um, when you get to the apex of that ridge, that's the lateral epicondyle. Just distal to that, there's a gap. This is the joint space between the radius and the um, humerus. If you flex and extend the elbow, you'll feel the independent movement of the two bones. If you proceed along that joint space, and just slightly anterior, in the anterior lateral aspect of the joint space, you'll find the uh, lateral collateral ligament of the elbow which keeps it strong in terms of varus forces through the elbow. If you get your partner to resist flexion of the elbow, you can see the bicep muscle, and you follow the tendon, the, the lateral aspect of the tendon, it's a rounded tendon that inserts into the tuberosity of the radius. And relax, please. One thumb's breadth lateral to that, you've got the supinator muscle which supinates the um, forearm. Flex again, please. So one thumb's breadth lateral, yep, and relax. And in the soft area here, you'll find a little twig, a little twig that you can see me feeling now, um, which is the, um, the radial nerve coming across the front of the elbow and then piercing the two heads of the supinator, which makes it vulnerable when someone's doing a lot of resisted supinating movements.